Good evening and uh, thank you for your patience and your sacrifice and your forbearance uh, and I think that uh, we all know what has happened. Elections have been postponed. There have been so many comments about it but uh, our party through is a directorate of uh, election planning and monitoring and contact and mobilization with the secretary of the council and our chairman and uh, other stakeholders within the party have been meeting, uh, there have been extensive consultations and uh, our directorates jointly just wish to plot a path forward and uh, in doing so we recognize first that the most important people in, within any institution, whether parties or INEC, are the people and uh, in this regard we sympathize with uh, millions of Nigerians who have sacrificed their time, who have sacrificed their resources, and also their convenience to perform this national civic duty only to be uh, disappointed by the postponement. As a party, we are particularly disappointed because we spent a lot of time preparing as well. Uh, you would have followed the level of preparation, training agents, training people, setting up situation room, contacting our, our people. But uh, apparently it seemed that some people were privy to this postponement because we were totally blindsided by it. And uh, the public commentary and uh, the news reports uh, on some media platforms suggest that some people had actually uh, from the opposite parties been uh, privy to this. But that said, we want to say to the stranded youth coppers, ad hoc workers, that we empathize with you. We want to say to voters, to, uh, to volunteers who have traveled at great cost to cast their votes, that we empathize with you. We want to say to our party agents and our party faithfuls that we also empathize with you. Our sympathies go to all of these people and many more, people who have had to postpone personal events, marriages, uh, family events, uh, our sympathies are with you. We urge you not to despair. We know that you are disappointed. Uh, we know that Nigerians are determined and resilient people, and therefore we urge that we should not let the shortcomings of INEC as an institution deter us from resolving to exercise our franchise. Therefore, we ask you to all stay calm, we ask you to stay determined and to come out en masse on February 23 to vote for APC, to vote for President Buhari and all the APC senators and House of Reps candidates. We urge all Nigerians to convert their disappointment to determination and to ensure that their previous sacrifices do not go to waste. As a result of the common pain that we share with the Directorate of Election Planning and Monitoring and the Directorate for Contact and Mobilization on behalf of the APC Campaign Council demand greater openness and transparency in INEX preparations ahead of the Saturday 23rd of February 2019 elections. We want to know, for example, what steps have been taken by INEC with CBN the central bank to assess and to take inventory of materials and to brief the public about what their condition is. We think that this will be helpful to dispel rumors, to, dis, uh, to, to, to calm nerves that really the process is intact and that INEC is in control. We expect INEC to confirm to Nigerians the status of its plans to procure and provide materials for the election and in particular to let Nigerians know if all the materials they require are in country, and if not, what plans HINEC has to ensure that they are. We want HINEC to let Nigerians know what plans they have made to redeploy and to distribute materials ahead of Saturday, the 23rd of February. What specific problems did HINEC encounter in the failed attempt of Saturday, the 16th, and the measures that it has taken to overcome them? What transport, logistics, and further material will INEC require in terms of vehicles, boats, trucks, airplanes, helicopters, and manpower and funding uh, in order to execute the elections of February 23 
and March 9. If INEC will confirm that the configuration of card readers will be completed in readiness for Saturday the 23rd of uh, February. In addition to all of this, we think that INEC will be better advised to brief Nigerians from tomorrow on a continuous daily and ongoing basis of every step that it is taking until the process is concluded. This is one way we think that INEC can elicit the buying of Nigerians and demonstrate that INEC is serious and in this way they will help Nigerians replace disappointment with enthusiasm. As President Buhari has urged that quote, Nigerians should continue to rally around INEC at this trying national moment, end of quote. INEC now has a duty to make its processes open, believable, and inspiring. This is what Nigerians can and will rally around. This is the road to free and fair elections. And free and fair elections are a victory for Nigeria. They are not a victory for any party. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I'll take them in reverse order. Uh, it is unfortunate that uh, uh, not everybody who uh, perhaps registered to vote has been able to uh, collect their uh, PVCs, and uh, I would love to see a situation where as many people uh, are able to do that. But uh, as you perhaps know, there was a last date for collection. Again, it speaks to logistics. This is an issue I've spoken about publicly in 2011, in 2015, uh, uh, when we were an opposition party. So uh, it just speaks that we need to raise our game, all of us. INEC is an institution, but it is managed by people. All of us just need to work harder. Uh, we have worked very hard to prepare for these elections, as you can see from the facilities here, from the staff in our situation room, we were ready. I was in touch with all our staff nationwide. And, and so we, we know what it takes to do this, but INEC will be in a better position to decide. If INEC is not ready, what will be my position? I don't pre, I won't prejudge what I would do until that eventuality comes. Uh, we think that INEC is peopled by uh, responsible people. The leadership of INEC has said that they need one week, I would take them by their words, and that is why I am saying that if they want to be taken seriously, they should open up the process. A process that is open, is transparent, and it is owned by everybody. So if we have problems, there can be legitimate solutions that are transparently deployed to solve those problems. Nigeria has logisticians, people who work in banks, who move cash every day, People who move goods every day, you buy goods online and they get to your destination. So uh, people dispatch cargo, courier companies. This is the skill set that is needed to do this. The people in the, in the military, the paymaster's office, the, the uh, RSN, that's, that's the logistic base of any military unit. So this is the experience that you have many of them, retired and so on and so forth. So it's not a want of knowledge. It's perhaps the lack of a handshake. Every day across this country, money gets into, into ATM machines. It doesn't get there by accident. It gets there because operations are working. So these are the skill set. All of these things are moved by the same roads that INEC is now having logistic problems to move. You drink Coca-Cola in all parts of the country. It goes by the same, by the same road. So why is it happening once in four years? So uh, really, we expect them to be ready. And that is why we are saying now, come out in the open. Where did you have a problem before? What did you do about it? What are you trying to do to correct it this time? Um, uh, yes, it is true. There are reports on the social media from our team because we are also monitoring all the news. And we have credible reports that our media team can give to you that shows that the opposition party, main opposition, PDP, 
was already calling for a postponement through their spokesperson and affiliates on, 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 the, on the media. So my team can provide all of that material for you. Um, what have we, what have we uh, 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 as a campaign council spent? We were planning, we should be in election collation mood today. We should be waiting for results today. Today is Sunday. So those who are managing their accounts post-election will be the ones who will come and uh, account for this. So that was not our front burner item today. Our front burner item here is how do we go forward? We spent 24 hours taking in the, the shock and the disappointment, and we must move forward. Well, we've done this before uh, as an opposition party, so uh, it shouldn't be too difficult for us to do as a party that forms government today. We waited for six weeks. If they say we have to wait for, for uh, 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 one week now, uh, we are prepared for it. We know, we know the road. We just expect that the umpire will stay neutral and they will remain professional. Um, that APC is preparing for staggered election, I think that, the, that that is not a responsible allegation and credible allegation to make. It, APC doesn't doesn't conduct the election. APC is a party in the election. So we go by the rules as set by the umpire. The umpire hasn't announced staggered elections, so we are preparing for one election. That election is the presidential and national assembly election on the 23rd, and the gubernatorial and state assembly elections on the 9th of March, according to the revised calendar. Thank you, Mr. I should thank you for, thank you. for your time and patience.